Good morning. This is uh, day two of my three day hike. Uh, yesterday I didn't do much um, filming. Um, it was a pretty terrible day. A bit like today, but um, at least today that the, the chilly winds from the sea, you can see that's the water's just there. I'm walking right next to the coastline. But yesterday I had the winds blowing in on me and uh, I had to, I mean I've got three layers on now and yesterday I had to put my rain jacket on as well um, and put my hood up. That's how um, how cold it was. So that helped once I put my rain jacket on as well. So I had four layers and there was a very, very slight drizzle as well. So it was not very good for taking photos or filming. Um, I've got 53 kilometers uh, um, for this hike. I did about 10 yesterday, I got 28 today, and about 15, 16 or something on the Saturday morning. Today's Friday. Um, what else is there to tell? I slept at a place last night called uh, Domstein. And it, there was a little shelter there. It's supposed to be water there, but it was turned off. Um, so today, I right now I've got about nine kilometres, and I'll hit Helsingborg. It's a, a fairly decent-sized uh, city here in Sweden, and it's about 20 minutes across the Sound to Denmark. So last night, um, from my tent, I could see all the lights over in uh, Denmark. Not much else to tell. This is quite nice walking this morning. Nice little track here. Just wanted to give you a bit of an idea what this track looks, looks like today that I'm working on, walking on. Like I say, it's right next to the coast. So one of the annoying things last night, I had to put my, um, what do you call them, earplugs in. Because I could hear the cargo ships out on the sound, chugging away all night. Then once in a while they toot at each other. But I slept pretty good. Um, slept in my duplex tent. It was a bit hard to put the pegs in. Um, they kept coming out of the sand. Fairly sandy soil. But I found some big rocks. And I was good to go. So I just completed a Kotalin. It's a 70 kilometer stretch of uh, Skonlin Trail. So the sun's going down, it's 10 past 5, I've just been taking a few photos, you can see the duplex is just here. It'll be disappeared in a moment. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just about gone now. 
lighting up the sky behind it. That's it. Show's over. So I found a place, uh, yeah, just about right on the beach. For my duplex. I can see someone else has been here before. I just had to do some more videoing just to show you the views here. It's the most gorgeous sunset I've seen in a long time. island just out here I think it's called Van and it's also um, one of the sections I think it's called section 9a of Scotland Leading uh, 5 so I'll be leaving that out for my end-to-end -end, uh, Scotland Leading trail but I'll come back to it
I'm not far now from my end station, um, so I've reached down to uh, Lance Croner. Um, it's been a nice hike. I got lovely weather today. It was very cold this morning, the first hour hiking, but after that it warmed up. But if um, I don't record anymore, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe and like if you like the video. Thank you. See you next time.